Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hi guys, it's Paul Pluto on the Paul Pluto channel. Today I'm doing paid review 90C9. -C and before we start that, I invented the wristwatch check and I'm wearing a Patek Philippe Calatrava 5196. Okay, let's jump straight in. This is for Daniel. And he says, I need your advice. Should I sell my Sea Dweller? 48 Submarina. <coughs> oh, let's have a look here. Hi, Arch. I'd appreciate your wisdom on the following. Just sent you a PayPal contribution. I bought a Sea Dweller 43 mil at retail <coughs> after waiting for two years. But although it's a good size on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. What size is that? Seven and a quarter inches. Hey, Siri. Please convert 7.25 inches into centimeters. 7.25 inches is 18.41 centimeters. <coughs> okay, well that's that's not that's not far off my my wrist size, um, but I feel that it's a tad heavy as a daily wearer. I'm tempted to sell it to get a no date sub instead, but I'm worried that. The later latter may be a bit small, and I may regret selling the Sea Dweller. What do you advise, Daniel? Daniel, Daniel, Daniel! Fuck me dead! There is absolutely no pleasing some fucker Roonies. No fucking pleasing some people. And you get this, these sort of doubts creep in because people are bored. See? They get bored. They want change. It's like you have a three or four year old car. You've had this same car for three or four years and the dealer sends you a brochure and all of a sudden you've got to get a new one. Now, i got to tell you, this is a fucking stupid idea. The Sea Dweller 43 mil is a beautiful hot watch. So you're going to sell it, and well, this is just disaster, disaster, disaster. What I would recommend for you, okay, this is what I would do, is, okay, the real, you've got to really look at the problem, the cause of this doubt. And it's because you want a new watch. It's the same reason that a man has an affair. He wants different pussy. Now, it's no different with the watch. You like your Sea Dweller, you love your Sea Dweller, but you also want to try something else. My advice to you, uh, if you've got the, the Sea Dweller 43 mil, keep that, that's a great watch. I would buy a second watch. I reckon get yourself a Tudor Pepsi GMT. Now, the Tudor Pepsi, it's a 40.5 millimeter it's the that's the the width sorry that's the dimensions as to how they measure the watch but that's not really the true scale the thing about the uh the 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 tudor black bay the the pepsi gmt is that it's very thick it wears like a 40 it wears like a 43 mil so i reckon if you got yourself a tudor pepsi That'd be a much better way to put this energy into. You have your Rolex, Rolex Sea Dweller, 43 mil, and you have a Tudor Pepsi. I don't think you could do no wrong. Absolutely don't think you could do no wrong with that. Now, what the problem is, most people are lazy. They're lazy. See, they want to change. Instead of saying, hey, let's get an extra watch, it's easier to sell their existing one. And then they, these are backward steps, backward steps, backward steps. 
you've got to really, if you are not a wheeler dealer, a buyer and a seller, you're going to generally lose money on this transaction. It is stupid, absolutely fucking stupid to continually buy things, resell and change. All that's going to happen is <clears throat> you are going to lose money along the way. So I, I strongly say to you, uh, fucking wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up. You're bored. You know, you've just got too much. This is a first world problem. He's bored. How about taking up masturbation? How about that as an idea? Hey, what do you think? Because this is just fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. Um, I, I just don't, don't get it. Um, uh, I, I just can't believe you, you'd want to sell one. As I said to you, I sent him an email <clears throat> when this came in. I said, I said, I said, what do you, I said, I said, I said, keep it. Easy way to lose money to churn these watches over. I think keep it, perhaps buy another 40 mil. I said a Rolex as a second watch, ideally a GMT or an Explorer 1. Buy a second watch. Don't be, don't sell for a silly reason. Fast way to lose thousands. Uh, <clears throat> I got to be honest with you. It's fucking silly. Fucking, fucking silly. People, see, I got to be honest with you. In the old days, when you didn't have consumer credit, you didn't have the fucking interweb, you would buy one watch and you fucking well chose... And if it wasn't the right one, you still kept it. It's like if you married the wrong bitch, you stayed with her to death do us part because you couldn't afford financially the burden of divorcing one and starting again. So you stayed with the bitch you knew. Now it's too easy to go in and out of these situations. <clears throat> and what does that mean? Well, what it means is... <clears throat> what it means is people do really silly, dumb things. See, you think you're bored. You know, maybe take up a hobby, you know. Um, I, I think, honestly, I get these sort of questions all the time. If you've got a Rolex steel sports watch, <clears throat> just keep the fucking thing, okay? If you're bored, buy a second one. Maybe... With your spare time, because it seems to me you got heaps of spare time, take up Uber or deliver pizza and save up for a second piece. That's what you got to do. You got to be a man. Be a man. Be a man. That's what I would honestly say to you. Be a man. So, this selling one by ah oh, fuck. This is just stupidity. Stupidity. Just. Keep what you've got, keep what you've got, and, you know, add another watch. That's what, what you should do. So many people, they want to be, they want to be wheeler dealers. They want to be movers and shakers. And that they end up losing fucking thousands, thousands. And then you get this no date, then you see an offering from another brand, and you sell the Rolex, you buy non and it's fucked. You're going to lose and lose. I had a good friend of mine in the UK. He had an Aquanaut. He sold that. He bought a gold Reverso. He sold that. He bought a Oyster Perpetual at retail. Sold that. It just downward step, downward step, downward step. And you look back on his decisions and say, fuck, you actually had, you had an Aquanaut. I said, man, you had a fucking Aquanaut. They're selling crazy money but he had long traded out it had long been sold he'd moved on he'd moved on he didn't keep it or get the benefit out of it and that's exactly what I see happening here because it's relatively easy to go in and out of pieces people do it too fucking readily and easy very dumb idea you've got big risks you can support the fucking thing. What, what, what the fuck? I just don't understand any of this shit. These people are fucking... 
um, these people are, are so fucking nasty about things, you know, they're just so fucking stupid, man, you bought a watch, well, fucking keep it, man, live with your fucking choice, you bought a Cadillac in purple, well, fucking live with it then, sunshine, no one else wanted it, everyone said, you know, you make a decision, fucking stick with it, be a man, ride the storm out, ride the storm out, and fucking just be happy. So many people are so fucking crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I've, I've just got to tell you, man. Don't fucking do stupid things. Keep the sea dweller. Keep it. Man, what you really want is a new watch. Get a Tudor Pepsi GMT. You'll be happy. It'll be all fine. Life will be good. Okay? Life will be good. That doesn't work. Take up masturbation. I'm Paul Pluter. This is the Paul Pluter channel. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends, and don't forget to get a paid review done. If you haven't done a paid review, now is a very good time to get one from Archerboard. I'm Paul Pluter. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Oh. Hey Archie Luxury fans, if you're into luxury, then you gotta be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex, as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life. David S.W. David S.W. David S.W. Who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest grey market dealer in America? There's only one choice. David S.W. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have, for a long time, been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches. And I've got to be honest with you, the greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet is David SW. David SW. David SW. David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people too. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Rani at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex, for all the hot models, there's only one person I would recommend, David S.W. David S.W., David S.W. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. i got to be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David S.W. David S.W. David S.W. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good, good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David S.W. David S.W. David S.W. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David S.W. David S.W., the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David S.W. He even does things like F.P. Jean. 
David SW, David SW, David SW. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one good source I would recommend. David SW, David SW, David SW. I'm Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David S.W. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel. Thanks for the well wishes, guys. They've really been... I really got so many nice little emails. Um, that really... It's really cool to receive. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it.